One thing I was going to talk about today is throws. Throws are two frames, which makes them really fast, considering the two characters that have three frame normals, which are the fastest normals, are Soul and Chip. They're really strong for that reason on both offense and defense because they're just your quickest answer. And traditionally in Guilty Gear, that's the case. So in this game, throws whiff, and there's a whiff animation for them, whether they're in the air or in the ground. In older Guilty Gear games, you just throw by hitting heavy. And so if you whiffed a throw, you would just get your heavy to come out. So something to know about throw is a lot of times you dash up and you're trying to do meaty pressure on people. And, you know, you just get thrown out of your pressure or you dash up and you're like, let me hit. Yeah, you know, you just keep mistiming your meaty. If you're trying to bait someone's throw, a lot of people do stuff like this. They'll dash up and they'll neutral jump and they'll go for a punish, which is pretty good. But it has the weakness that it could be anti-air. Backdashing is really good to bait a throw because the whiff animation is quite long and throws our counter hit recovery the same thing as we talked about with yrc the other day right so in general i think when you're pressuring against someone baiting a throw like that i mean you saw the time i have so long to bait the throw and it's really strong right that's meterless damage on a punish another important thing to remember in this game is how strong air throws are right air throws are really good they have a huge hitbox in case you haven't seen them uh, so if I set Kai to do a jump, you can throw people from so far away. And also, you can do it right off the ground. I'm sure you guys have seen this a lot, where he dashes, and then when you jump, he air throws you, right? You've seen the RC slow down, jump up, and air throw. And I think that this is something that the more the game goes on, the more people of all levels will be ready to break an air throw after you're stuck in the air above an RC. One thing that I've started doing recently, and I think people will do a lot, especially over time, is something like this. And what this is, is if somebody avoids it and they try to tech your air throw, they're in counter hit recovery. You force people to block here, right? And then when I start blocking, Kai obviously just jumps up and does air throw again. So I'm like, oh shit, he's gonna hit 2H. I'm gonna block and then I just get air throw. This is some of the nuance that you'll have when you play against this, especially people will start doing this too. Air dashing away or like trying to do a button or I'm like, fuck this. I'm just going to hit you out of it. Right. So there's like other options that you can start to, to do here. But in this game, throws are such a strong option. And like knowing how to bait them accordingly is it's it's so important because if you don't get a counter hit punish, like you just knock someone down and you bait it with like this. That is just so bad compared to if you do this. Right. Like the difference in damage is so astronomical in what you can get. It's like you really have to take advantage for those whips. Counter hit on the ground, usually starters are really, really strong. In Soul's Pressure, people try to reversal throw all the time, which I don't think is super strong, but people have started to do it a lot. And uh, a lot of Soul players will just do this. And you get Vortex after, which is so good. Like this is such a high damaging starter. So yeah, you have to be very careful about that. Soul players, you mean literally everyone. You know what's funny is I was waiting for it. I was like, who's gonna be the person that takes this great lesson we just we just went over today and then is like, haha, am I right, soul dumb guys? I knew there was gonna be one person. I learned a, a specific combo with another character so that I could demonstrate it so that I didn't have to hear people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about cry in the chat. When you fight a good Giovanna for the first time, I want you to come back to my stream and apologize.